Hi, I'm Amanda with Raising Da Vinci, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY science kit. You can make these kits as big as you want and include as many experiments as you want, or you could make them as small as you want. You could do mini, little mini kits and give them away at parties for a party favor, or you could put them inside Easter baskets, or there's so many different opportunities to use this. Um, when you're choosing your experiments, you might want to go with a theme to put in your box, or you might not. Um, you can find a whole bunch of experiment ideas in my Science Saturday series on my blog at RaisingDaVinci.net or on my YouTube channel. Um, so I went with more of a Christmas theme, so a lot of these experiments I got from my Christmas science video, but you could also pull from my slumber party science video. That one has a lot of really fun ones that, that would be really good in a science kit box. Or you could pull from um, maybe my magic science or um, the Christmas science, like I said. Or there's a lot of different videos that I've done that would work really well for this. So basically these are kind of like like a subscription science box, like Steve Spangler Science Club or the um, Little Passport Science uh, Science Explorations. Um, we've gotten a lot of those and we really like those. But what I like about this is you're able to personalize it to the person that you're giving it to. So if you know that that person's really interested in, like I said, magic, you can make a whole box of magic tricks that are really science experiments and kind of have them learn with that. So let's jump right in. I bought all kinds of stuff to put these together. So let's see how I put it together. test tubes at the dollar store and I thought that they would be perfect for one of the liquids that I have in my experiment. So my experiment requires half a cup of hydrogen peroxide and each one of these holds a quarter of a cup. So I made sure to label the tops of them with a quarter cup hydrogen peroxide and then I put on the side a little caution so that people know to wear safety goggles. And then I just continued to fill the boxes with all of the different materials that they would need for the experiments. So let's do an unboxing, and you can use a prettier box than I did. So these are actually called welcome kits from basicinvite.com, and I kind of customized it to make it for a science kit. And then on the front I have the supplies and directions, and on the back I have the science behind each experiment. And then of course some packing stuff, safety goggles that I found at the dollar store, an empty bottle. And I had mentioned those to you before, making sure that everything's labeled. And again, I labeled these and I taped those together because they're all part of the same experiment. And a glass jar for the snow globe. Some tape. Twizzlers for the fizzy dip. Batteries. Yeast. Um, some Christmas lights for a circuit and tinfoil. 
And there you have it, your own science kit. For even more science fun, visit RaisingDaVinci.net. And I'll include a link to the four experiments that I chose and all of the materials that you would need for those experiments in the description box below or inside of the blog post.